Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or oh, welcome to my channel. Are you here for cancer? Cancer, we're here for you today. So we're gonna just do a little spread right here to see what's going on with you. sorry y'all not sorry for smoking but i'm sorry that i held it up a little bit for that <laughs> here we go god universe angels spirit gods and ancestors please give us some clear and precise messages for the sign of cancer what messages do we have for cancer messages for the cancer what do we have for the cancer Messages for cancer, messages for cancer, messages for cancer. Page of Pentacles here. Somebody could be off presenting you. Oh, the lovers is under that. Somebody could finally be starting to see the potential in some type of connection here. Or somebody's choosing to present a small offer in the, of... Um, Stability about a relationship to somebody. They want to bring in a balance or balance out a situation. Bring in some justice to it. Okay. Ooh, cancer. Okay, because uh, that was Gemini energy and Libra energy. Okay. So, ooh, we got the sun card. Leo love showing up here, don't they? Or do they? Yeah, they do. And y'all show up there too. So some of y'all dealing with a Leo. We got the sun card though. Nonetheless, that says that you're going to be very happy. Girl, I'm not opening the window back up. I mean, I got time to argue with you right now. I'm cold. Okay, I got my jacket on already. She want me to freeze so I can open that window all the way up. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in here and heal. Balance it out. Here, somebody sees you as a very happy place. Or you see them, yeah. They want a relationship or you want a relationship too, but somebody's wanting to come in here. Yes, and bring you an offer, baby. Yes, I like all this. This is all good energy. So, yeah, I'm feeling like somebody's feeling, somebody's just basically <coughs> surrendering here. Somebody's surrendering. You look like she just like, take me now. She's some, this person, whoever this person is, either it's you or your person you're dealing with. Somebody's finally surrendering to the happiness that this connection has to offer. And coming in to heal it or balance it out if it doesn't need to be healed. They're giving in to a relationship. They're bringing in an offer or they're just accepting it. But they're giving in nonetheless. Okay, somebody's re just like surrendering, giving in to it. Like, here, just take me. Okay? Yeah, that's their decision. They made a decision to surrender. Surrender to this happiness that they feel with you. Or you surrender to the happiness you feel with them. But it's healing taking place. This could be somebody that you, you dealt with in the past already. Considering the temperance and star card says both together says healing and balancing. But they also could, it could, don't have to be a past person. This, this could be some th somebody that you're balancing out with because you see them as a wish fulfillment. And there you are. They must see you as a wish fulfillment. Yeah. But there's an apology. Or they're, 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 they're bringing in an offer, a small offer of stable love. Why this page of cups here? The strength card, the queen of pentacles, and the six of swords. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or Leo. But somebody's mustering up courage here. I feel like somebody's really mustering up courage and strength to come in here and invest in and nurture this situation because they wanted to go to calmer waters. So this is looking like an apology now that it's being clarified. Yeah, somebody's been um, holding on to or holding back some truth here. Holding back clarity to the situation. About feelings, though. Somebody wants a change in the situation, but look. Somebody's holding back. They're holding back clarity. Truth. 
And what is that? That they want to take action. Or that they are taking action. That they feel completely and utterly fulfilled with you emotionally. That they want to reconcile. And they want to put an end to the differences is what I'm hearing with the world card. Yeah, they want to change. They want a new another chance. Seven of Cups with the King of Pentacles and the Death card. Yep, they put an end to the confusion and transform once they want to put the end to. They want to put an end to the confusion and transform the situation again. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like this person wants to come in here and invest. Okay, you possibly could have retreated. Or they retreated, or you retreated. To, to weigh somebody's retreated to weigh it out the option like do i want to equal give and take with this person do i not do i want to put the work into this will it be worth it somebody's trying to get in tune with their intuition here and their intuition looks like it's telling them look you had a tower moment with this person before but it looks like it could still blossom to be something beautiful with the empress coming out to match the emperor the king of pentacles to match the queen of pentacles we got a pair here. Water Tower. Oh, okay. So this communication is the tower. The communication that you get from this person shakes you up. They bring in this communication, talking about how you they wish fulfillment and their soulmate and all this crap, and you, it takes you by surprise, okay? Because you possibly even could be dealing with a Taurus. Never heard this person talk like this. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini as well. Okay, what's the Empress? <laughs> King of Swords to the Queen of Swords now. Yeah, that's what they're telling you. Look, you are my pair, okay? And I want to work with you. I want to collaborate with you. Somebody could have had somebody in a third-party situation at some point, and that's why they're hesitating to forgive because there's three threes out here with the lovers. I feel like this is the queen of swords. Whoever the queen is, whoever the feminine energy is, I feel like she's been, she waited on this collaboration for a long time, but she started to turn her back on it. And now here comes this man right here. Realizing he done made some type of bad decision with the five of swords and he's running her after her full speed ahead because she decided to pack her shit up and gone. And he like, no, I got to manifest this back. I got to manifest this to grow. I want to manifest union for us. Yeah, but they was afraid. But the love was still there. Now we got the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. This is some twin flame shit right here. Where somebody possibly used to be in and out. Because they was afraid of this. Because this connection made them afraid and trapped in their head. And they was already guarded for some other shit that had nothing to do. Yeah, past hurt. Now, this person was guarded from the past, but them being guarded from the past brought them being deceptive and hurting your feelings. But the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords tells me that's come to a close because they want to have a victory with you. They want to put the work in. They want to take a leap of faith. Could be dealing with an Aries. They want to stand their ground and stand up and fight for this, for what they believe in. They want to fight off the competition, if it's any. They took a minute to pause to reflect, feel left out in the cold, and reflect on how they left you out in the cold due to them being confused or them being stuck at a crossroad. Now they're ready to take action. To be a Virgo with the Hermit. I feel like this person has been in solitude and they're coming out of solitude ready to take action, but it's been a while. They, they thought long and hard about this, but here they come ready to do this new beginning. Cause they really don't want to miss it. They didn't sit there and decide, do I want to miss this? Do I want to let this go? Do I want to go get it? Nope, they don't want to let it go. They're coming to communicate if they haven't already. You could already be in communication with them. It's not about this. I don't know. I can't sit around and sit here and ignore it. We ain't about to sit here and act like we can't talk about my feelings, bitch. We ain't going to do that. I ain't going to be able to talk to you then. Well, let's just get on up off the phone because if we got to pretend, I don't want to do that. I don't like that pretending shit. I don't like facades. <laughs> I don't know if y'all talking or not, but that's what the card said. Mm -hmm. They ain't say y'all not talking, but they say y'all ain't talking had this kind of conversation yet.
Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Piece of weed on my lip. God, universe, angel, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What keeper messages do we have for cancer? Messages from the keeper deck. What do we have for cancer? Messages for cancer. What do we have for cancer? Cancer, cancer. Coughing. Something being over, something being transformed. Something's over, something was over, and all somebody could do was think about it. Think about a conversation that they need to have, but they're not so sure if it'll go in their favor or against their favor. But they have to have this conversation if they want access to this pathway. They have to come and provide some type of information, some type of facts, if they want to have access to this brand new beginning. Yeah, mature woman. They got a mature man. Sorry, they got to grow up a little bit. Okay? Poverty, yeah, but I feel like you somebody left somebody out. Somebody left this mature man out in the cold, okay. And I feel like this is this this is what forced him to grow, which is what is forcing him to grow up. What being left out in the cold is forcing him to grow up, okay. Yeah, look at that now wealthy man coming out after poverty. That brings him out the cold if he grows up to become who he truly is, the divine masculine here, okay. Okay, and not this false ass person that he was saying he was. So now he's coming to speak about this. I feel like the wealthy man now wants to talk about the false person. And now put in the work with the occupation. He want to have a conversation about who he was and who he truly is. And he wants to start fresh and put the work into it. Start a family. Change. From being that false person. He ain't going to be that person no more. He want to support this union. Support this relationship. Because he's been in. He had to, that time he's been left out in the cold. Thinking about the fact that you might get somebody new. Or she. It could be a woman too. She could have had to get left out. She, they stay with despair. Whoever they were. Thinking about the loyalty they had. Yeah. When, when they let this person that loved them. Put in all the work. And, and didn't help. And didn't give them no reward in return. And just kept expecting. And maybe this person even waited on them. You probably even waited on them. Waited on them. Waited on them to get in the union in the line to start something new to go acknowledge it. <clears throat> the main female. Oh, but you. What? The gift. The child. The mature woman. Okay, so we got, <coughs> excuse me, the mature woman waited on something new here. She waited on this divine thing to start off. She waited on him to come in here, start the new beginning, to gift her with the new beginning. You know, she waited, she did her growing, she waited, she grew concerned <laughs> about this main male, to her main female, thief. Okay, so she felt like somebody stole him. But there's a privileged lady, so. But everything matches out here. Message of concern. Sudden wealth. Distant horizons and journey. The lovers. House. Official person. Okay, yeah. Message. I feel like this divine masculine is coming in here to speak about the karma that he endured basically for basically how he treated you. Okay? He's coming in to be official person. He's also coming in here to gift you possibly a house, a car, some type of gift. Okay, um, for your hassle, <laughs> I know that's not a way to put it, but he might even for some of you be wanting to get you a kid. Okay, but he definitely wants to start something fresh and start something new, and he's hoping that you are open to accepting it when he presents his facts to you. Okay, that's for somebody. Somebody had to grow. Some man had to grow and change up, change for a woman. You know, let go of some ways or change. I don't know what. But, yeah. What do you got for cancer? 
for the romance angels, God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What romance angels do we have for cancer? Romance angels for cancer. Romance angels, do we have for the sign of cancer? Cancer, cancer. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So, you got to have faith in the situation. Have faith in the passion. Then it has a wedding. So, let's just see what's on the top. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so somebody could be codependent. Somebody could be addicted to something here. So let's give your relationship a chance to work on your partnerships. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm going to What is it? What's the codependency? Stagnation. What's this codependency card? The high priestess. And I'm sorry. So it's fear. Somebody's afraid here. Somebody's intuition is telling them what to do, but still they're staying stagnated, having anxiety. Somebody's a codependency or addiction is fear. So somebody's saying, so they're saying to give your partnership a chance, give your relationship a chance, and work on it. Okay, uh, okay, and release your ex. It's time that the time has come to clear your energy here. So this person, his their codependency is the past here, or it could be you, Cancer. <clears throat> Somebody's stressed out about opening up their heart and following their intuition so they stay stagnant. They're stressed out because in the past, their ex hurt them. So they need to release this energy of hurt that they have from the ex. The ex, I do not feel like there's an ex in the picture. I feel like there was somebody, a third energy, possibly in the spread, the first spread. But <clears throat> this one does not have a third party. It has that this person is holding on to, to, to energy from their ex, meaning that their ex done hurt them and they need to release it. Because instead of coming in here to give their heart to you, they're afraid and holding on to the hurt that they've been through. Instead of, you know, that's holding on to past energy. They need to clear that energy out. Okay? Learning, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your presence. See, this person, the more they release the past and heal it, the more they can, they're can, they able to open up to the love that they have for you. Yeah, because I feel like y'all have a past life relationship here. You have known each other before. Past life relationship. And it says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and receive the bit, the highest energy of love. So somebody is learning here that it is safe for them to love. That they were in a past relationship. Somebody might even be learning that they deserve love. So this is about a lot of, somebody's, it's a lot of lessons that have been taught here in this relationship. Okay. Attraction. You're you attract a romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So somebody's just needing to go with the flow, living it, you know, being here and the now. It says finances and career. Financial financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so so I feel like some one of you is burying y'all love, burying y'all self at work, okay, to, in order to try to feel, free yourself from the emotions you feel. It's time to take back control of your life. Somebody's burying themselves at work here so they don't have to think about the, what they feel about this reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life yeah i do feel like your past but it's like a past life here it could be a new person from the past life but i do feel like it's um, a reconciliation and this is worth waiting for divine timing is at play in your love life all of this is happening the way it's supposed to okay but i do feel like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is coming honestly discuss your feelings with each other and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to um a fun to shine. So, yeah. I feel like somebody's going to be playing and flirting, you know. Um, but I do feel like there was... A, it's a separation. A time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, you could already be experiencing a separation. Or you already did in the past here. Or you're currently... So, somebody can heal the codependency. Somebody can release the past energy. Somebody can work on whatever this finances is. Okay. But I feel like the, you just got to trust the process here, okay? The passion will not die, and this will possibly turn into a wedding. 
But some people got to heal first. You know, you don't want a half healed person. So that's why the separation is needed. So I'm saying let's pay attention to the red flags because I feel like somebody's not completely healed in the situation here. Okay. I feel like you should keep an open mind though. And this can hit lead, lead to lead to marriage, but it has to be done the correct way. Okay, if it's gonna last. You know what I mean? Because you know how you really be caring for people, but you know they ain't completely right. But you know, um, if you just allow God to work on them, he'll get them together for you. Okay, but if you don't want to be patient, if you just be trying to be with them now, maybe you're going to have a half-ass person that's half-ass lady. Not that they're a half person, but you know what I mean. They're not doing right, so they're not healed, so they're not, they're complete potential. They're full potential, so they're only half or even less. So, but that's what I got for you, Cancer. I hope this helped you, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in your next video. Namaste.